Malo Lele, my name is Dimitri Shusta Koloa Matangi. My name is John Pokoliaki. My name is Eli Sane Green. Susie Kato here. My name's Damon Pokoliaki. What's up? My name's Halefu Noafino, and I'm one of the co writers and producers of this amazing film, Red, White and Brass. We're here at the Auckland premiere. Keep it fresh! Keep it fresh! Keep it fresh! Yeah, I'm just excited to share the movie finally. It's been in the works for a while now. Been holding all of the excitement in for a long time. I think I'm really just excited to see all the family come together. Oh man, I'm real, real nervous. This film hits different because first of all, it's my, my story. My brother's in it, my cousin, my church, my mum and dad, my community. Red, White and Brass, it's a Kiwi Tongan film. From my viewpoint, it was like the exploration of what it is that makes Tongans the way they are. When we were making the film, we wanted everything to be as real as possible for a Pacific audience. I think this is one of the films that really showcased what it's like growing up in New Zealand as a Tongan. So it has that like Tongan humour. Islanders will get it. People can actually see what Tongans are like and the whole mafananess and the whole extra extra of our people. To me as a, a Tongan, it's pretty special and to, to be able to showcase what we can produce as Pacifica people on the big stage, you know, based on the true story, what they did to, to actually get, get into the game. To be able to do something kind of at this scale and for our, our young cast to come in and see someone that looks like them, that talks like them and comes from the same world, man, you can't really put that into words. Very special, you know, getting to represent our culture. With brown faces, brown stories, we love that. Can't be what you can't see, so hopefully, yeah, we can inspire some young Polynesians. It's part of our culture, the whole brass band. We have it in church, we have it for funerals, weddings, and look, for the premiere now. It's important as a Tongan to come and support Tongan storytelling. And as you can see, Tongan flags are everywhere. It's a special occasion, so that's why we go all out. We dress all out. This is the Pospika suit and tie right here. It's kind of the dream of what all of the, the Polynesians before me had, you know, that one day we'll be able to do something like this. Our kids are going to be growing up and seeing those movies. They can tell like what the Tongan can, can do in the well, even though like uh, we came from a small island. An honor to see this happening to our Pacific Island people. When it comes to Tongan, they will make anything happen. If there is a will, there is a way. We love really hard and anything that we know that our people can do or have the potential to do, we, we support that 100%. Whatever they're putting in the otai, that's what gets them level 100A. My hopes for this film is that for Tongans, it makes them proud to be Tongan. For non-Tongans, I hope they leave this film wishing they were Tongan. <laughs> this is Tongan ingenuity at its finest. Smiling from chick to chick, I really loved it. As a brown person in Aotearoa, it made me really proud. I like the hustle. They... They just kept on going and going. I definitely felt the, the mafananess of the whole movie and I loved it. Nailed the comedy, nailed the heart, you know, and that's going to stay with us forever. Good. Do you think you can do better? All right, thanks, Bonnie.